just a quick tip for all you scientist guys out there. Don't genetically modify stuff. Stupid idea. Stupid, stupid idea. <laughs> Jurassic World. Hi guys and welcome back. I am reviewing Jurassic World tonight and uh, just been to see it. And I'll give you my first thoughts. Did enjoy the film. Entertaining. Not. Not amazing by any stretch of the imagination. It's, it's a good film. It's a solid entry into the franchise. And probably my second favourite of the franchise. Now. Let's go into this. Opens up with a family, which you see in the trailer, sending their kids off to meet up with their auntie, who is the uh, site runner, who runs the park, pretty much. Um, obviously, they're sent off to go and experience the wonderment that is Jurassic Park. Their first ever trip, and or first ever trip to Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World, or whatever the hell they want to call it. I'm going to call it Jurassic Park, most likely, because that's just how I know it. But anyway... They arrive, and they're, you know, taking in the sights and all that. And behind the scenes, it's all going crazy. There's, a, they want to introduce a new dinosaur, which they have genetically spliced. Not a smart idea, really. Not a smart idea. This thing is huge. It's badass, and it's a shame to say, probably smart. Well, but yep, it is. It's smarter than me. Smarter than me. So anyway, this chaos ensues. The dinosaur, as we know, and would have predicted anyway, breaks free and cause complete and utter havoc. Uh, you freeze a load of dinosaurs, not intentionally, I might add. Uh, you know, it's, it's not as if it like chose to go free them, uh, but it they freeze a load of dinosaurs and causes some impressive scenes. Scenes I've been waiting to see because I was a kid who saw the first Jurassic Park film and I wanted to see the park open. I don't know exactly what would happen if that park opened. It wouldn't go to plan, but it it's awesome to see it. And I'm, I'm so, I was like a little kid again seeing this film because it, it took me back to when I was nine and saw the first film and I was just like, this is this is cool. But finally, it's open. Twenty two years later, it is open. I've been waiting to see it since the first film, so I'm glad that they finally did a film where it was open. But it was always going to go wrong. Let's face facts in these films. It's always going to go wrong. The cast dependable. You got Chris Pratt. He's he's entertaining. He's fun. He's he's a, he's more serious than he is in most of, in, in than he is in Guardians, and that's what I liked about it. It was a little bit different for him, and he, he you you were rooting for him. You've got Bryce Dallas Howard, who has some good banter with Chris Pratt. She's a little bit st stuck up, a little bit uh, damsel in distresses until the last I'd say thirty minutes. I'd say in the film, yeah, the last thirty minutes. You've got her two nephews who are decent enough. So, you know, they're nothing. Not well known. I think the little kid is from. I said little kid. The youngest is from Iron Man three, and then you've got uh, the other lad who uh, is from Melissa and Joey, who never really seen him in a, in a film. I've only seen him in two series, so it was actually it was nice to see him in a different kind of role. Uh, he wasn't too much of a jerk. He was alright actually. And then you've got Vincent D'Onofrio, who from the trailers they they make it look like I don't sorry if I pronounced his name wrong. Make it look as if uh, he's you know going to be this big part, you know, it seemed more interesting in the trailers, and then in the film it was generic, it was, it's a shame, you, you, you'll, you'll get what I mean if you go see it, it was a shame, because I think they could have done more with that character, but anyway, and you've got B.D. Wong, who is back as Henry Wu, or Dr. Henry Wu, great to see him back, it was great to have that link from the first film to this film, so it was really good to see him back, the visual effects are pretty awesome, from the trailer, they made it look, um, or the first trailer, it, oh, the CG just looked obviously unpolished, unfinished, and it was a shame because it just, it, I was sitting there thinking, oh, I hope it doesn't look like that in the cinema, I really do, and it didn't. For the most part, they looked pretty realistic, they were pretty good. There were some CG, CGI moments that didn't look as great, but for the most part, it was good. The, um, the 3D is, is okay, it's nothing spectacular, but it's okay, it's definitely worth seeing. Now the story for me, this is where I was a little bit worried. I was thinking, when I saw the trailer, oh, has he really tamed the Velociraptors? Again, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but again, from the trailers you can see that they're, they're not really tame, but it's more of a kind of bond from trainer to, I say trainer, from keeper to, to animal. It, there's that bond between him and, and the animals, it's not 
one of those things where like they're going to be friendly to everyone. So I did enjoy that. It, I was worried at first, but that was taken away when I saw the film. There's a bit in that film. Again, don't want to ruin it for you, but there's a bit in the film where they uh, they they cancel out that, and I was I was happy with that. I was glad to see that because it just it made sense to me and it was good. Now, genetically creating a dinosaur, it was hard to believe at first. But again, it gets, this is a science fiction film. You can't, or it's a, it's a fiction film, so you can't really take everything seriously. And that's why it was fun because you know what? For two hours, they created this dinosaur that you just. <laughs> They probably would regret creating in real life if they did, because it'd just be stupid. But it was still, it was fun, um, and it, it was big. But it was an awesome scene at the end, and it, it was a bit of again, don't want to ruin it for you, but there was a scene at the end which was so it was fun, and uh, it just showed off the dinosaur there. It was really good, and just the kind of the ferocity that it had. It was, it was ferocious, man. You just don't mess with it. But anyway, Jurassic World. I mean, it's it's a good film. It's a good time. Definitely wouldn't take your family to go see, or if you've got small kids, don't take them to go see it. There was a family in there with like a five-year-old and a seven-year-old, and they, I swear, one of them was crying, and the other one was just saying to their parents that they were scared. And it's 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 not that kind of film for kids. So don't take them to see it. You know, wait for it to come out on Blu-ray where you can pause those bits or fast forward if they get scared. You know, just don't take them to see it. But anyway, if you're going with your mates or you know your partner or whatever. It's a good time. It's a good film. It's and it is worth a watch. It's a it's a valid entry into the franchise, but just don't take your kids to see it. <laughs> like if again, if they're small kids, it's just going to scare the hell out of them because there are some intense scenes in there, which would freak out young kids. So don't take them to go see it. But anyway, Jurassic World for me, big fan of the series, big fan of the first film, and a fan of this film. I've got to say, again, it's not perfect. There are some bits in it that aren't great you know there's some dodgy lines there's some, a little bit of low point in the story at the start they could just yeah, I don't know maybe just I, I don't think they needed the family thing they just didn't need it I, you know, they've done that in Jurassic Park 3 they didn't need to do it here they've done it in Jurassic, the, Jurassic Park the last world they've done that in that the, the, the family link they just didn't need to do it you know you're going to have 20,000 people in peril you don't need to add the, the the family bit to try and show redemption in people. We just don't. You, you can show redemption in those people by just them trying to save as many people as they can in the film. But anyway, entertaining film. I'm going to say four, four out of five. Four out of five. Good film. Entertaining. A lot of dinosaur mayhem, which you know you've come to expect from these films. Definitely worth a watch. So guys, that is my review. Tell me what you think about the film. Tell me if you enjoyed it. What did you like? What did you not like? Um, is this the kind of film you would like to see a sequel to? Because I'm still on the fence about another sequel, if I'm honest. But tell me what you think. Thank you take, for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you all very, very, very soon for my next update video. So take care, guys, and stay safe.